One thing I've always wondered is why do all these radios have different charging cables? And I, I'm serious. I went to Vegas the other day for the NAB show. And of course, being the high roller I am, not, I ended up winning some money in the casino. And I ended up going to Giga Parts and buying this new FT70D. The problem is that I looked on the side. Ooh, here's a shiny mini USB port. Okay, hello, 1995 um, or 2005. But the charging port is this little dinky little barrel connector. And it puzzled me that in 2023, the mainstream radio manufacturers are not really honest. Except with one huge exception. I must give credit to ICOM, at least for getting halfway there, because their radios, including the ICOM 705 and also the ID52, can charge with a micro USB. But strangely enough, I went on Timu, Temu, or whatever you want to call it, and I bought this radio because I don't have enough radios. And I looked on the bottom of it, and then USB Type-C port. I came with a Type-C cable too. I can pretty much plug this into anything and I can charge this happily via USB-C, but that's not all. The USB-C port is not even built into the radio. It's built into the battery. This makes me wonder, you know, with the EU regulations coming up that require phones, and cameras and such like that to have USB type C ports. Are we going to see this on amateur radios? And I really don't know the answer to this, but this can get you some clue. So it says here, the EU law will make it mandatory for all mobile phones, tablets and cameras sold in the EU to adopt USB C port by the end of 2024. But the EU press release also specifically mentioned that other devices capable of charging via wired cable need to have USB Type-C. And this include handheld gaming consoles, headphones and headsets, and AirPods. These are my favorite things. And also e-readers, keyboards, mice, GPS, and earbuds. And I would assume ham radios. I'm kind of hoping that the manufacturers have some USB Type-C ham radios in the pipeline because it'd be kind of nice to be able to take this and just pick up any one of the billions of billions and billions of USB cables that I have type C plug it in and charge without having to look for the special brick that they have it won't work I could even plug this radio into my car's built-in USB Type-C port and charge away, you know? And let me tell you something, I really love radios from the big three, more so than I love Baofeng. Uh, no, I'm not gonna work for Baofeng and all of these other radios from the Far East, but um, Far East, of course, um, Japan is in the, uh, I just told him. You know, all of these radios have um, the ability to charge via USB Type-C. I'm hoping we see someone out from the big three. Okay, tell me what you think. Sound off below. Until next time, this is Rhea and 2RJ, peace in 73. I'm gonna think of it. Um, I don't even know if this will apply to ham radios. I think it's just intended for consumer devices. And ham radios are technically consumer devices and then they're probably not. Oh well. Um, so, but it would be nice to have USB-C Type-C anyway. I hope they bring in future radios. Well, that's it.